everyone, it's Bridget Quigg coming at you with a video on yes anding yourself. So I've talked before in other videos about yes and, but I'm going to explain it quickly here. It is an improv concept that moves action forward, it brings people together, it allows for collaboration in an instant without any plan between people who do not know what they are doing. But yes is a listening practice, yes is an acknowledgement practice, yes is I hear you, I got it, I'm going to make sure that you know that and is what I like to call build on it. So yes, acknowledge and build on it. That is when you bring yourself into the equation. That is when you add to whatever you just heard, respond to it in a way that is affirming to the other person that you understood what they said and here's what you think. So it's that TikTok that goes on back and forth on an improv stage, but it goes on in every relationship in every moment. And I wanna bring up a special one right now, which is your relationship with yourself. So I believe every person is a creative genius. And when I say that, whew, it makes people uncomfortable because the word genius feels like too much. It feels like Einstein. It feels like special people. Well, you're pretty special, it turns out, because the word genius really talks about an innate ability, something you just had at birth. The fact is all of you are immensely, immensely creative. You have a flow of creativity coming at you all the time with ideas, solutions, inputs, how to make dinner out of these three ingredients, which way to get to work because the bridge is closed. The list goes on and on. How to deal basically with life. You're all natural improvisers. You're all highly creative. And this yes and practice can be applied by you to that part of you, that creative part of you. So you, as you go through the various stressors of the time that we are in, are going to be facing a lot of need for solutions, let's say, situations that are uncomfortable, how to arrange your desk at home, how to make sure your computer is working, how to reach out to your teammates who seem a little stressed, how to explain something that's really not good news. <sighs> there's, there's a part of you that has something to offer for each of those things. So I'm gonna ask you to consider acknowledging it, what's coming up, hearing it, from yourself, taking a breath, taking it in and building on it. And it's not all heavy stuff. A lot of the stuff coming up out of you is brilliant, creative solutions to the situation that you are in. You are wired to do that. You're a freaking human being and you're an interesting person and you've been through a lot of things and you have experiences and ideas and knowledge. So take the time to acknowledge that you're highly, highly, highly creative and, and uh, speak to that by taking care of that part of yourself and saying yes. And we could move our meetings to Monday. And then we could also start each meeting with a check-in now. Maybe just take five minutes where everybody answers one very specific question that's a comfortable, easy question. And they just keep their answers short. And then we could also, uh, yes, and we could check in on when people really like to have meetings and what times are best for them now that they're home with kids or they have to teach school. Yes, and we could set up something where people give their best office at home office trick ideas every Friday, something new that they came up with. Like you let yourself do that to yourself for a while and just see what you come up with. You're a creative genius.